Good morning, my name is Maureen Chung. Welcome to Daily Devotional of November the 2nd. Uh, I am using a lot of assorted verses from Proverbs to explain the simple, the full, and the mocker. Yesterday, in the introduction to Proverbs, we quickly mentioned the theme and purposes of the book of Proverbs. We also picked Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, and chapter 1, verse 7 as the key verses. As a refresher, here they are again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. But before we go further into the book of Proverbs, let us clear our minds about three terms the author uses throughout. And they are A, the simple, B, the full, and C, the mocker. The issue is not an issue of intelligence. It, is, it has nothing to do with their intelligence quotient IQ. But it is an issue of spirituality. For these people reject the fear of the Lord and those who revere God. Let's take a closer look. The simple, first of all. Chapter 14, verse 15. The simple believe anything, but the prudent give thought to their steps. Chapter 19, verse 25. Flog a mocker, and the simple will learn prudence. Rebuke the discerning, and they will gain knowledge. Chapter 7, verse 6. At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house. At twilight, as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in. Then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. And then verse 21, with persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. Now, gleaning from the above, the simple believe anything. Due to laziness and lacking self-awareness, the simple person only learns from the mishaps of others. The simple person has no purpose in life, is without moral direction, and falls easily into evil. He is the opposite of Joseph in Genesis chapter 39. Next is the fool. Chapter 17, verse 10. A rebuke impresses a discerning person more than a hundred lashes a fool. 17, verse 24. A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. Chapter 15, verse 14, the discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. Chapter 15, verse 2, the tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. The above is a sample of how the fools treat themselves. The fool is unteachable, and a hundred lashes teaches him or her nothing. A fool does not learn the lesson before him or her, but looks around in a daydream. A fool eats up any folly presented and throws up any folly without thinking. The problem is not their low IQ, but spiritual. They are morally deficient and refuse to revere God. The following is a sample of how the fools deal with other people. Chapter 18, verse 6. The lips of fools bring them strife, and their mouths invite a beating. Chapter 15, verse 20. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Chapter 17, verse 21. To have a fool for a child brings grief. There is no joy for the parent of a godless fool. Chapter 1, verse 7. Our key verse. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Chapter 10, verse 8. The wise in heart accept commands, 
but a chattering fool comes to ruin. Chapter 12, verse 15, The way of fools seems right to them, but the wise listen to advice. Chapter 14, verse 9, Fools mock at making amends for sin, but goodwill is found among the upright. Summarizing the fool's dealing with other people, they bring strife and invite a beating. They despise their parents and bring grief to the family. They despise wisdom and are unteachable, and they are argumentative and disobedient. They believe that they are right all the time, and they joke at sinning against God. This is a picture of stubbornness, moral deficiency, and godlessness. Now the marker. Chapter 9, verse 7 to 8. Whoever corrects a mocker invites insults. Whoever rebukes the wicked incurs abuse. Do not rebuke mockers, for they will hate you. Rebuke the wise, and they will love you. Chapter 21, verse 24. The proud and arrogant person, mocker is his name, behaves with insolent fury. Chapter 22, verse 10. Drive out the marker, and out goes strife. Quarrels and insults are ended. 29 verse 8, Mockers stir up a city, but the wise turn away anger. The most obvious character trait of the mocker is pride and arrogance. Therefore, they behave with rough rage. If you try to correct a mocker, you invite insults for yourself. And if you rebuke a mocker, you bring hatred upon yourself. The mockers bring dispute and argument to a community. Only by driving them out can strive, quarrels, and insults be stopped. Why are mockers like this? It is because they lack the fear of God. Now, with an understanding of how Proverbs uses the terms the simple, the fool, and the mocker, we are prepared to dive into the selected passages in our daily devotional. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, you abhor the simple, the fool, and the mocker because they do not revere you. Therefore, they hold other people in contempt as well. Have mercy on me, for I can easily be like them. Please let me watch over my thoughts my motivation, my beliefs, my attitude, my speech, and my actions. Please do not let me fall prey to Satan, our enemy. Cleanse me by the Holy Spirit. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. May God bless you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.